now, going back to the TK show and uh, the conversation with uh, Giants control master uh, Greg Johnson. What is it? Control person? Oh, uh, yeah, control person. Or yeah. just chairman for ease, ease of use. I, I like it's con- the control that we I, like I, even I, so I like much control more. Person. Control person. Anyway, Shout out Janet Jackson, control. Look, there's a few um, controversial things that needed to be addressed. Um, he asked him about Rennell. So we'll get to that in a second. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. But he asked him about those comments, and some of you may not be aware of them. I think it was at was it a press conference or some sort of a gathering, a fan gathering. This was less than a year ago. It was Bob Melvin's introductory press. There you go. Thank you, Grant. From Bob, October. And, and the comment was basically uh, our goal is, is to break even when it came to the finances and what they were willing to spend. Obviously, that's not going to go over well with fans. Our goal is to break even. Your goal better be to win a damn World Series, Greg, because your franchise values and the Mission Rock Project, you don't got to worry about making money. You're fine. That's the way a fan's going to react, as they and we should. So Greg would like to uh, he'd like to discuss one more time the breaking even comments. And so um, here's what he said about that. I'll say it was a naive statement by a, a, a control person that learned a lesson um, not to use that word ever again. And I won't use that word ever again. And, I, you know, I was just making a point again that we represent, you know, a group of investors and, and we'd rather not lose money every year. But, you know, I think what we've shown is that this group's mission is to win championships and we will lose money to do that. Um, and, and, you know, I, what I was, I made a comment again, yeah, we'd like to break even. I said, that's pretty hard to do. Ooh, I just said the word again. That was <laughs> terrible. But you'll never, uh, you'll never hear that out of me again. And I, I think we, we backed that up by, you know, I, I think the point I made is in the right situation, we will go over the luxury tax. And we showed we did that this year because we thought it was the appropriate um, thing to do to build a competitive team this year. And we're going to continue to do that. By the way, follow up question from TK. I think it's pretty clear you will not be making a profit this this year. Would, would that be a fair conclusion? Well, uh, you know, maybe if the World Series win, I, I don't know. Um, but it's a fair statement to say we will not be making a profit this year. Okay. I um, like it. And I'm, you know me, Mark. I'm one to bury a guy and <laughs> hold you to your word. Captain Vetman. And, and also Captain Vendetta. I'm not afraid to double down and uh, <laughs> absolutely hold something against a guy for years and years to come. But... On behalf of my brother, Doug, who coined the phrase, apology not accepted, apology accepted. Okay. And he didn't really apologize, but... No, he just said he made a mistake. And I like that. And he he came correct. And because the mistake he made, honestly, is not that big of a deal when you look at what they did in the offseason. And he's right. And he points it out. We went over the luxury tax, and we spent the second most in Major League Baseball. So, yes, I talked about break-even and I learned my lesson as the control person that you can't use that phrase. And oops, I just said it again. And huh. my only qualm is that it's not a word. It's actually two words, but I'm going to give you a pass, That's- Greg, <laughs> because of the way he spent. If he didn't go out and spend like the way they spent in the off season, I would still hold it against him. But he went out there and showed you that they're willing to not break even in the interest of winning. I think there is only one word. It's the even one. You can use the word break. Like, if you filled in that next blank with a different word, it like would dance? be fine. I was, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> so funny. We're not going to break dance. Good. Okay. Don't. That's actually what I hope you would say. Oh, can you imagine him but, break dancing? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, we're not going to break your face with a foul ball. We're going to yeah, put a yeah. net up. Like, you can fill that in with other things and we're fine. But, yes, break even. We don't want to hear about that. There's one owner in this town who is allowed to talk about money and, um, and and sort of get away with it. And his name is Joe Lacob um, because he has spent such a ridiculous amount of, ch- uh, of money um, over the last handful of years and, and has such championship resume that now you get to a spot where we don't get offended when Joe says, look, we need to get below the luxury tax. And even when he does that, he doesn't do it in a way of we need to get below the luxury tax because I was at a board meeting last week and 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 they're mad. Uh, you know, Bob is sitting next to me and he would like some money. He doesn't do that. 
He goes, look, there, there's a competitive aspect to this. We don't want to lose draft picks. Right. We like that's not smart and flexibility, business. Right. trade flexibility. You don't have if you're in the second apron and all so that. So you can get away with that. And he got four titles. And he's got too. four rings. Right. Correct. And I don't, you know, Greg Johnson. I don't even know if they were a part of the ownership group back in 2010, 12, or 14. But it doesn't feel like they get credit, even if they were a part of that ownership group. Most definitely do not. Yes. Yeah. Most definitely do not. And I don't so. know what what their history of ownership yeah, is. I and don't either. It doesn't even matter. But when you tell fans. You know, we're just out here trying to break even. That's not the message you want as a fan. You want your owner to to be as into it as you are, and that's what it feels like with well, you know Lacob. I'm glad that he called himself naive. It's a it's a good word to use in this case because, quite frankly, you could take this conversation and blast it way up the flagpole. Here's what I mean by that. Look, just in general, in general, I don't care what you do with your life. If you make a gajillion dollars, shh. About money. Shut up. Yeah. Just shut up. It's not going to work. You're not going to have it land the way you want it to land. You ended up hating the end of Andre Iguodala's career because he made it sound, whether it's legit or not, he made it sound like he was whining about money. And the bottom line is, this is only going in one direction. We are only getting more sensitive about this. We're still in the 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 the, the, the come back up from a pandemic. We're still dealing with all of this. We're There's, in a recession. There is so much hard that's out there in life right now. All of you listening to us, we know it's so hard. If you make gobs of money, don't talk about your money in a way that sounds like you're worried about it, when then, as soon as the conversation's over, you head out on a yacht for the weekend because, you know, it's Saturday. Nobody wants to hear it. And yeah. it's crazy to me that this mistake keeps getting made. To me, it sounds like the easiest thing in the world to not do. Yeah. Dude, you own <laughs> the Giants. Right. How on earth are you talking to people about how much money you're going to make at the end of the year? And you literally are turning in a parking lot into a gajillion Good dollars. Lord. And, you know, it's the investment of a lifetime, a parking lot that you used to be able to use as a fan. Now you can't park there <laughs> because the owner who wants to break even is turning it into a hundreds of millions, if not a billion dollar investment right outside the ballpark for the team that he owns that is absolutely printing money. So I'm with you, and that's partly why I bristled at the Draymond Green remarks about how the league is making it tough right. on NBA players to really get wealthy because of all those fines, and he's been fined $2.2 million over the life of his career or more. And You're right, and I don't count another person's pockets. I don't worry about what anybody else is making and all the rest of it, but when you hear multimillionaires or billionaires, you know, kind of complaining about, you know, oh, woe is me. I mean. It, it falls on deaf ears. It just isn't going to land well. It doesn't, it, yeah. Even, like, I get it. It might be coming from a good place. It's not going to work. So that is yeah. my message today to anybody who has seven figures in their bank account. Shh. Yeah. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Yeah. And be thankful. And if you want to talk about it, do it with other people who have seven figures yeah. in the bank account. And if you want to buy me a dozen eggs for ten ninety nine, I'll take it. Because <laughs> eggs aren't cheap. Because you try to break even around these parts. Dude, nothing's cheap anymore, right? It really is wild. It's, I, mean, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. You know what I mean? And we're stupid. We all go buy coffee every day for $6. But like... What on earth is it? And maybe, I guess it was COVID. I usually well, blame it on that. But everything is so expensive. Yeah. What is it? The recession is crazy. Oh and it gets to the point God. now where you go to get gas and you look <laughs> and it's four eighty nine a gallon and you're like, all right, four eighty nine. Look at me. I actually think the gas thing, they do play with us. I think they pump it, no pun intended, so that when they bring it back down, it's still ridiculously high, yeah. but we're like, wait a minute. 
It's, there's a four. Yeah. It's not a five. Four. It starts at four. It's a complete mind check. Like, there'll be like a line out the gas station because there's a four exactly. on the sign. It's like, what are we doing? Yeah. It's still going to cost us $88 to fill that tank. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Gas station, um, the, the mental game. Like, cause even, and when, when you see this, like it's four ninety five, but down the street, it's five fifteen. add that up over a tank of gas. It's like a dollar. Yeah. Like a 20 do- cents a like gallon. A dollar times, difference. Yeah. You Two bucks I mean? for 10 gallons, yeah. 20 cents. And we're like, line down the street. Right. So you'd rather you wait save 14 $2. minutes in line <laughs> to save two bucks so as opposed to just drive right up in like, uh, what's your time uh, worth and all the rest of it. It's just. 